What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop some jewels, traditional relationship. Hey, guys, I got that love jewel. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, guys, it's a general message, so it cannot resonate with everyone. So take what's for you, and please do leave the rest behind. Um, commitments, marriages, relationships, loss, love, Virgo. So yeah, either way, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you head out. Hitting that bell button so you know when the videos drop. Leave your comments below. Let me know what's going on, okay? How these videos working out for you, how they resonating. If you're on any of the social medias, go ahead and follow me on over there. You get updates regarding the channel, Micah Me Energy. I do giveaways over there, channel some messages from time to time. So you might want to check that out. Currently, right now, readings are at a very low price for the month of September. And that's because of Saturn's return. And I just want to make sure everyone has access to it, at least until I'm like booked up. And I'm just like, all right, guys, that's enough. But take advantage of the reading special, which is going on for the month of September. All the information is listed below. Virgo, I don't see lost love. I don't see the seven of swords. I done seen moderation and self-control. I've been hearing the word karma, karma, karma. Um, do you believe in real love? Karma, karma, karma. I don't know if you get in karma or if you want somebody else to receive karma. Look at five of cups. There's some sadness. There's some regrets and some actions that have been taken. Okay. Um, yeah. We ain't going to get too deep. That nine of pentacles popped out in your pre-shuffle. I feel like a lot of you guys are single, independent, going to be very single. Yeah, relationship right there. Let's see. Some of you guys could be missing your opportunity with your true booze here. Yeah, you need to free up yourself here. Some of you guys are getting caught up with the wrong people, with the wrong love interest. I feel like, you, yeah, we've had this conversation before about you guys having somebody in the background that you are ignoring, who you're like friend zoning, still stuck on a past cycle here. Um, you need to do what's best for you, to be honest here. But guys, we're going to go with our traditional um, love spread that we typically do out here. We're going to start with the mutual main energy between you and the person, how you feel, how they feel, the challenge between you guys. Advice coming up from your end, advice coming up from their end, and we'll do conclusion. We'll clarify a little bit with the universal tarot. I got a love affirmation for you guys. I've been working on like little sayings in my own deck. So it's like, but you thought it. That's what it, the deck is called. But you thought it. <laughs> so we're going to pull one from there to see what the inner thought is. Trust me, they, they're not really all positive thoughts. Okay. Um... But we'll see what comes out for you guys. It will give an insight and a taste, you know, of any negative thoughts or feelings or, you know, hidden motives. But then we'll close out your outcome with some higher love soul link messages. In regards to that outcome, you and that person with the whole point of the relationship is or the connection rather. So, yeah, guys, keep in mind general message. So whoever it is that you're thinking about, this is who this message will call it with you for so but yeah i'm just hearing like karma karma's coming i mean aside from the fact that everybody's been hollering at you the karma is coming you know saturn is returning it's time to make the whole world anew so virgo i just ask you you know with that tack card eggshells baby acceptance um i was gonna ask what side of karma are you guys on um, I did see a woman looking in the mirror. It's time to face, you know, what you have been through, especially when it comes to loving relationships. I said I've been picking up the vibe where it's going to be a lot of the loving or, you know, just unions, whether they're romantic or plutonic, you know, that is really going to, that's where most of it is going to catch the burn. We're going to see the biggest changes and shit happen. I do see where Virgos, you guys are going to need to have a great amount of maturity when it comes to dealing with a certain situation. You guys are used to things going your way. You know, like being a perfectionist, you need to think about others in the situation, not yourself. Do not be selfish. Do not be greedy. It's not just about you. Because, um, yeah, I do feel a lot of you guys are catching karma for some of the things you have done. I do feel that people are catching karma for the things they have done to you as well. 
again, like I said, it just matters what side that you're on when it comes to dealing with this. Okay, trying to keep these readings quick, short, and sweet. All right, we're going to start off with um, the thought first. So here we go, guys. What's the thought? But you thought it. What's the thought here for Virgo? Give me one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Let's get this thought. What's the thought here for Virgo? Summer rising and Venus. Let's try to get one thought. But you thought it. That came out in the pre-shuffle thing. What's under here? This sucks. Bored. Boring. Got love on the brain. Possibly. Could be thinking about love too much. You're thinking about your current situation or whatever, and it could really suck. Like I said, for some of you guys who got that person in friend zone that you don't want to give a chance to. You could be looking at somebody else's situation. You could be looking at your own situation and be calling it fake. You got that's fake, 13 karat gold for the grand pure cap. So you could be looking at an outside situation or the person that you're dealing with and saying that they're fake. You know, what they're doing ain't real. The relationship ain't real. The love that they have or their feel or they're giving is real. Their emotions ain't real. It's something that you feel is fake about this person, okay? And this is why I'm probably hearing karma. Like, you feel like you want them to catch karma. But, I mean, I feel like you've been sitting around with the this sucks, you know, being bored. I feel like you've been sitting around waiting for, like, something bad to happen with this person. Because in your mind, maybe you feel like something is for the gram. But you're just sitting here and you're fantasizing and you're waiting and now you're becoming bored because things aren't falling out how you want them to happen. The karma ain't playing out how you feel it should be playing out. That's what I'm picking up. So let's get your affirmation and love. Integrity. Mm -hmm. I align with the center of myself, a glowing core of personal integrity. Emanating from the core is the knowledge that I never have to compromise who I am or what I am for anybody. I can live a life that doesn't include settling unless I want to settle, in which case settling would be my idea of perfection and would cease to co be considered settling. Uh, paradox is hurt. So it says, you know, in the picture it has the home is where the heart is. You could be dealing with a Taurus here with that um, bull energy, bull sitting there. But um, I do, yeah, with the smoke, I'm seeing like, you know, the smoke is clearing, the air is clearing. You need to stay true to yourself at the end of the day, no matter what happens. Um, and that's what I'm saying. It all really does depend on what side of karma that you're sitting on. Okay. So yeah, independence. Things um, with the sun and this moon, I'm really feeling like things that were done in the dark are officially coming to light. But I embrace total independence and I see how empowering that is. Even when I'm in a relationship, I can still be independent by meeting my own needs and creating my own happiness. When I do that, I'm the fullest version of myself and I have much more me to give without needing pieces of me in return, a scientifically impossible expectation. But um, yeah, it's you know going within yourself, whatever comes out, whatever is revealed. If you are the person who has fake shit going on and you're doing shit for pure cap or whatever for the gram or whatever, then you know you need to take that shit and stride, you know, buck bean, buck it up and say, yeah, that was me. I did that. I said that, whatever. And my life goes on. Um, integrity, okay? Taking responsibility for your own actions, your roles and things, you know, standing strong on your two feet. Like I said, if you're on the bat and the karma, think about, you know, how tough you were when you was putting that shit out there. You need to keep that same energy when karma come back to serve, Okay. So let's get our messages out. So we got the energy between you and the partner, your main energy, their main energy, the challenge between you guys, advice coming up off of you for them and the complete outcome here. Yeah, I went back to the big, long, full out love spread. It's very vital. Underneath the deck, you guys free yourself, okay? I feel like you guys might even have the chance to fuck yourself up in some new karma some new drama don't free yourself up that very soon you need to free yourself up okay but we'll free yourself it says it's time to take back control of your life all right very soon clear to decide what you want so it comes to you now um yeah we're just gonna leave that there take that message how it needs to resonate for you all right, guys, so let's slide this stuff down a little bit. Let me get these sleeves up a little bit. Y'all get, like, the sexy robe. Even I have multiple robes, but I figured we'd go more heartfelt. I felt this one for these videos this morning. All right, so 
underneath the deck like we know that this is about a relationship we had the two of cups okay so like i said definitely a love reading shit ain't making it up y'all get to watch me shuffle on scene or whatever so let's do this it's about freeing yourself obviously from a relationship from a bond from a union could be karmic could be you know something that just does not serve you okay so the main energy is finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Child support, divorce, alimony. You actually could be needing some money right now and needing help from this person financially or asking this person for financial help or this person could be asking you for financial help or seriously, it could just be money issues for why you two aren't really working out right now. So let's just take a look and see. Finances and career for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the message? Virgo, there you are, front and center. You, Virgo, could need some money. Equal give and take here. Trying to find balance in your money situation. You could be calling the asking body for some help. It is your birthday. Maybe you're trying to plan something and you need, like, you know, a little assistance. Probably getting a place or, you know, decorations or food or something. You're trying to gather up. People are in particular this person to help you out here with some celebration or whatever. Possibly, definitely because it's your season. So with Virgo coming out, it's your season. This could be about, you know, you need an equal give and take. You're also trying to get some money. You're trying to bring about a balance in your financial situation with somebody who could also be a Virgo like yourself. Um, or Virgo, this could be somebody coming to you asking for money. You know, needing a handout, needing just a little help and a little assistance right here. Um, also with um, the that's fate, you know, I'm looking at the for the grand pure cat. Um, I'm seeing where, you know, there could be like seeming like, you know, you have it and giving it to so many folks that you can give it. And, you know, you need to go within and think about how much of this money that you're actually splurging and giving out to people you're handing out here. Because I feel that, you know, you could be overspending. You could be doing it for the gram or whatever, making it seem like you're financially more on the up and up than what you are. You need to go within, you or your partner need to go within yourselves and really take a look at your financial situation here because you're going to find yourself at an imbalance, you know, possibly doing it for the gram, okay? So the way you feel, Virgo, your current energy is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So yeah, Virgo, you could be messing with somebody solely for money, okay? I'm keeping it 100, all right? What side of the karma are you on? They could be messing with you. We're going to take it how it resonates. But what you falling on finances a career, I feel like this definitely has to do with your money here. With this unrequited love on your end, I feel like you don't really love and care about this person. It's about what this person can offer you financially, stability, like not for nothing. I feel like you're being a user. And I feel like, you know, how I said, you know, what side of the karma you're on, you need to, if you're putting out the bat, when it come back and hit you, you need to be able to take it, you know, with that independence and that integrity. But I feel that you need to free yourself from the situation because I don't see it working out for you in the best way. Like if you're using this person for what they can give to you, you should separate yourself because that's going to come back. You're going to have somebody use you solely for whatever it is that you can just offer them. OK. Like for real. And, you know, karma is what it is. Comes back. In my cases, I believe in a tenfold. So I do the best I can to put the best out, okay? But let's look into this unrequited love. I do, yeah, like I said, this guy, like everybody sees this person, man or woman, just like, you know, being all over you in love with you. And you just like, oh, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever. Like you give them the hand, you let them kiss on you, whatever. You let them give you that money, but you're not really into them. I feel like people on your side, there's somebody in the background who knows that you're full of shit. When it comes to dealing with this situation here, yeah, it could be a Libra here, but justice will prevail in a situation here. Like I said, foolish energy. You're being very foolish with what you're doing. Also could be needing to take a new leap of faith and start an over brand new and letting the situation go. There is no love there. So it's time to start anew and do what's best and what's fair and what's right. Okay. Could be dealing with a Libra there with that energy. This is Aries energy here. But, um, yeah, definitely you need to do what's, what's fair. Like, if you're not feeling this person at all, if you know that you're using them for, and you're not going to reciprocate or give them what they want from you, which as, which is a relationship or whatever, you should let it go. Like, this is what you need to free yourself from because you're only setting yourself up. This is not the month. 
the person has make the effort. So yeah, they've been trying. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This person has been trying. You could have kids with this person. This person could want kids with you. This person you could have known for a long time, as far back as your childhood. Like I said, I'm seeing friends. You could have friend zoned this person, okay? But this person is very, very loyal, okay? This person is very loyal to you. They want to be with you. They want to make something work. They want something real with you. But, you know, you don't feel the same way. You don't feel that way. Yeah, you make this person happy. Could be a Leo energy here. But, um, yeah, they wanted something stable here with you. But they realize that it's all. A, I feel like they're realizing it's a lie and judgment is starting to set in. They're realizing that that you're a lie. This is a lie that you're using them. You know, the justice is starting to prevail here. You know, what they thought was stable with you ain't true. Granted, you make them happy and they wanted to like possibly even give you a child, build a family with you, have children with you. You know, as I see this baby, I mentioned children. They could have wanted something like this as beautiful with you. But I just feel like, you know, they're starting to see judgment is starting to come out. You know, karma is starting to roll around. This is the week. I said it. OK, like go back and watch your weekly. OK. What's the yeah, children? Fuck. OK children here so what i'm also picking up is you could this could be somebody that you have kids with right and you like a birthday season coming up here um celebration or you could just need help school is coming in you need help with this child um you don't love this person which is rightfully so but this person is trying to help you out here they're trying to you know step up to the plate and do what they need to do I feel like, you know, they, they want to see their child happy. They're doing the best that they can for the children. But I feel like you're making it hard here. And for you, it feels justified. It feels like, you know, if you ignore this person and you don't, you know, do or give to them, like things will work out for you. But let me tell you, that's for the gram. Because I feel in your mind, you're like, this sucks. Like, I feel like you naturally want to be better towards this person, but you can't. And it could, again, deal with, you know, whatever role that you've played in this situation here. But the challenge is children. Your love life is being affected by children. This could actually be real children here for why, you know, maybe you're not able to move on. If this is like that friend zone energy where you're not able to move on, maybe, you know, you're focused on your kids or, you know, you're focused on trying to make it work with whoever you co-parent these kids with. Um, or, you know, there could be childish, immature energy. OK, this person could feel like you're childish. You could feel like they're childish. Um it's like there's more loyalty around than maturity. You get what I'm saying? Like being loyal to being childish, being loyal to playing games, possibly, I'm picking up. But yeah, it could also just be that you need money for the kids. Somebody needs money for the kids right now. Yeah. Could be a new baby out here in these streets. Yep, I got Sagittarius popping out here. We got a Queen of Swords. What is this peaking right here? We got a burden, 10 of wands, 10 of pentacles, and a hierophant. So, yeah, there's a new opportunity that has happened. There could have been a new child born. There could be a new pregnancy around. There could be a new love that has started around children or whatever. There could be a new love that you feel is very immature and childish that you don't believe. I do see a marriage here and a stable family. I see where it could be a burden here to you to know the truth. I feel like divine timing is at play right here. You could have, maybe you found out that, you know, this person has a fucking child or a child on the way or whatever. Hence, you know, I, I keep picking up child energy with this person, you know. So maybe you found out that this person has somebody, has a baby on the way or does have a baby already. And you're just trying to figure out if you want to deal with that type of energy right now. Um, I feel that this person does the best that they can when it comes to dealing with these children. They do what's best, what's fair. And, you know, as far as, you know, leaving a legacy, happen, having a good, healthy family. But I do see that where there's some burdens, you know, that that are there. There's some burdens that may have come out or need to come out. You know, there's some truth around these burdens. Justice, again, this could be you coming in divine time and you trying to bring justice to some burdens because of the financial situation that you're trying to collect. Maybe you want, you know, I'm also seeing this as a judge here, you know, trying to do what's right, though. You're just trying to get, I guess, you know, like the money. Like you don't want nothing emotional. You, you're about the money right now. But I've, there's something that's fake about this whole situation. 
And I feel that it's like a mind game. It sucks. It's like there's too much thought process. We're thinking about other things other than what's really going on. And we feel this energy is very fake. It's fake. This is fake. Your advice here, you deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah. So I feel like how you're trying to treat this person or how you're trying to act is fake. You know, you're trying to um, be bold and tough, act like you're straight, your situation is good, is fake. I feel justice may be coming to the fact that you are serving all required at love. We're going to take a look into that energy before we head out because that is like pretty intense. You know, justice coming to unrequited love. That is too many spirit. Y'all playing games. You blocking it though, either way, you deserve love. You're blocking what, you know, I feel you truly desire. Let me get those. Yeah, we're going to read them all too. So you got the temperance, could be dealing with a Sagittarius energy, eight of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I see here where Sagittarius could have walked away towards Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. And somebody is coming back in charging here because, you know, it's just like, how could you go towards something new, a new start here, like the sun, something that makes you happy. Okay. Um, hmm. So is this person actually there with you? I feel like this person, you deserve love. Divine timing was at play. Somebody could have walked away towards a new opportunity. Somebody's coming back saying something here. And there's a king of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy or a fathering figure. Like I said, somebody could be coming back in to say something about, you know, finances, about money, about a new opportunity somebody took here. Because somebody clearly walked away. Divine timing was at play. It was time for the shit to happen. And boom, somebody just walked away towards something new. But I feel that there is like an angry individual, somebody who's upset. This king of cups is not even looking towards this knight of pentacles. They're looking the other way. So it's like you can try to come in and speak to this person all you want. But emotionally, he's closed off. He's mastered his emotions. He has nothing ideally to give to you emotionally. He will provide and do what it is that he needs to do. But he's not about this. He's not about to argue and go back and forth with you. He's not going to do that. He's level head. He or she, take it how it resonates. But it's more of a masculine type water energy here. But I feel that you deserve love either way. This person is like ignoring you or you, Virgo, if you're like a man or whatever, if you're the father, you need to like not bother with this person when they come back in and wanting to talk to you and tell you about what you got going on. Because you deserve to move on and have something better for yourself. Before we get any deeper, I'm going to look at this justice with this unrequited love real quick. Why is this justice on unrequited love? Because I want to feel like you're not giving this love back to this person. Yeah, because you're taking a new leap of faith. You're going towards something new. You're, it's a new passion. It's new sights here. You're not giving this love and it's fair. It's right because you're going towards something new. Could actually be an Aries or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you are officially like you're done. You're you're you don't want to give into the situation no matter how much this person tries to give to you. But it's making me wonder if the fact that you're not giving up this love is that was not real. Are you really listening to yourself about what it is? Because at the end of the day, you're still saying like this sucks because you still have love on the brain. Or like maybe you just need some entertainment. You need something to do and what you need to free yourself up and not get caught up in the drama. Let's see. Your person feels that this is true love, okay? This is the romance of a lifetime. I'm getting so many story guidelines here. I'm getting that you could, you deserve love, but you're not showing love to the person who's there for you. You know, if you got that friend zone person, yeah, and this person sees the truth in you, the clarity and the truth in you, okay? Um, true love. Honest, true love here. We got, so far, only ace we're missing is the ace of wands. I mean... Yeah, the Ace of Wands. You have Ace of Pentacles out here, Ace of Cups. We had the Page of Wands showing up, which is like the inkling of, you know, wanting to start something new, a new passion to start. But the new passion to start just isn't out here yet. Somebody sees the truth here in this relationship. This person who's trying to make the effort, who's trying to make you happy here. They're trying to offer you something, offer you abundance, offer you, you know, true love, offer you a baby. But I just feel like you are, you're, you don't want to deal with this person. You don't want to have that with them. You could be mad at like this Sagittarius here. You could be mad at a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You're mad at somebody for taking in another offer, for walking away. But it was time for them. Look at that. This person, it's a Libra energy. Like I said, 
they're trying to come in and bring about a balance here, but it's like there's a guard up. There's too much guarding up, okay? Too much defense. I feel like this person kind of want to cut through it, but in the same breath, I'm just like, like how it says very soon, you need to decide what you want. You need to free yourself from whatever past energy you're dealing with and decide very soon if you're going to deal with this person who's trying to give you attention. Because I feel like you trying to block them off, that's fake, okay? You trying to act like this ain't a good thing for you, that's fake. You, yeah. What's the outcome? Chemistry. Yeah, there's a strong magnetic co um, connection, attraction there, okay? So, yeah, like, despite, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're capping right now, Virgo. You're capping. And I feel like it could be because maybe you need some money or something for kids. Maybe this isn't this person's child or whatever. We got school coming up. Maybe you're trying to reach out to the father. Like, hey, I need some money. They like, fuck that. You get what you get, you know, or don't come around, you know, trying to pull that shit with me. Because like I said, King of Cups is not entertaining. He's not dealing with that shit. It's just like, look, you're not about to come and pull a shit on me. Like, you're not. So honestly, yeah, aim your sights. Towards this person who's willing to come in and make the effort, who wants to give love here to your child, you know, if you have children with someone else. There's somebody who is trying to extend this offer to you, okay? Somebody who is here for you. They ain't fake, but I feel like, you know, you trying to act like you don't want them or that you don't have a good thing and trying to entertain other shit, that's fake. That's fake. And look at this. The chemistry, you blocking it. You still, you're blocking it. You're blocking a good connection here for, I don't know, whatever reasons, that's your story. Leave your comments below. Let me know what the hell's going on. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving away from this relationship. I don't know. In your mind, clearly you see it could be somebody from your past. Maybe you're finally moving on from somebody of your past or somebody from your past is moving on. Okay. That's eight cups moving on. The relationship is moving on. You're still blocking chemistry that you have with this person that's trying to make an effort here with you. Know your story. Materialism. Doesn't this go with our finances and career? So this... I feel like this person can still give you everything you want. Like you're looking at your past person or the past energy or whatever because of what they can... What they have. What they have. But you sometimes you got to stop and look at what somebody have and wonder how they got it. Like, did they get it all on their own or were they building with somebody else? Because you have to stop and look like, okay, so say you got, we'll use Will and Jada. Why not? Probably not the greatest a couple picks, but we'll, we'll pick them. Will and Jada, right? So say, you know, Will was making all this money. He had it, but Jada didn't. Oh, this is perfect because then we could throw August up in there. But Jada didn't. But August looking, seeing Jada as, oh, damn, but she got this. She rocked Gucci that. You know, she pushing Lambo. She live in this big house. I want to be with her. I want to have this with her. But what he didn't realize was Jada had this because of Will. You get what I'm saying? So August get with Jada. She ain't got the Will money no more. And that's like you. You're looking at somebody because of what they have, but you don't realize this person is where they are because of the individual that they're with. They... They are in a like if you got with that person or if you were with that person, y'all wouldn't be in that same energy or in that same position as you see them now. It would be different because that's not your story. You have somebody here who is trying to make the effort and who is trying to bring you true, honest commitment, happiness here. But you're stuck on a materialism aspect. It's about money right now with you. What side of the karma are you on? Let's look into this. We'll try to get three. Perfect. So underneath the deck, you have intellectual matters. You really need to stop and think about this, okay? Think about what it is, okay? Intellectual. You rule Mercury with Gemini. So come on. Like communication, your thought process. You got this. Like, you got this. But you're self-sufficient, okay? You're good enough, okay? Free yourself from whatever past drama. Stop blocking what you have because this is a lasting love that brings you happiness. Hello, they have the sun card here, okay? Success and perseverance. How can I tell you that? Because this person is honest and true here when it comes to how they feel about you in regards to love. So take on this new person. Cut out the past. Be careful of the karma that you have out because that is what I'm hearing for you guys, okay? Be careful. Don't do shit for the gram. Don't be trying to keep up with the Joneses or none of that. Live life how it falls for you. Boom. So yeah, Virgo, that's your message for September. 
Come back, catch the next one. You guys know I'll be here. You guys know what to do. And until the next one, peace out.